Yes, sir. It's your boy B. Hayes. We're back with another one, guys. Get ready for this because this is crazy. So European markets mix as global investors wait for the Feds. So we know on Friday the Feds will come out, try and scare the economy, try and scare the market, overall market and investors, guys. The Feds will be coming out. Powell will be speaking on if he's going to aggressively hike interest rates once more. We do have some more interest rates coming soon, guys. We could have two more that you know, two more aggressive interest rate hikes. We know inflation is still out of control. It did cool down a bit back in July, and now it started to pick back up a bit, and it's a lot of back and forth, hot and cold, hot and cold. Like I told you guys, that's just a way to put control into the situation. The Feds is the ones that have the 90% conviction rate over the market. Nine times out of 10, they usually go in the direction that they want it and make it go or whatnot, premeditated. So anyways, guys, if we go ahead and take a look at it, we know the European markets is mixed today as everyone waits for the Feds. Stocks open a little change following a three-day slide from the Dow. Since Friday, we've been having a crazy, crazy slide with overall market, guys. But what I told you guys, after coming down significantly and very quickly and sharply like we did on Monday, the turnaround was going to happen just like that. It's supposed to happen yesterday. Somebody said, well, you said it was going to happen yesterday. It kind of did. Early that morning, they couldn't leverage the market anymore to bring it down any lower. And yesterday, what we seen, early in the morning, stocks went crazy. But then, throughout the end of the day, in the middle of the day, they started giving back all of those gains and just coming right back down to where they previously was. So yesterday, if we were to, if the market would open up and just continue to tank again, then I would have been completely wrong. But yesterday, the Feds, that's where they come in at, and they whenever they try to make the market rip up, and then just to bring it right back down, that's leverage in between that. Because if they would have never made it go up, they would have never made it be able to con continue to go down from where it previously was. Only thing it would have been was stagnant. They could have kept it stagnant, meaning it would just stay the same. And nine times out of ten, we haven't really seen no days like that in forever. Every single day in the market I've been around, I've seen the market either go up significantly or it goes down significantly. And even if it don't go up or down significantly, it's still not staying the same. So with that being said, we knew I knew exactly what they was doing on yesterday. Now and today, watch how everything playing out exactly like Hayes said. The market is about to go crazy. Crazy opportunity happening. VIP, we already alerted. The craziest banger that's about to make buttloads of cash. So as we know, guys, like I told you guys, be prepared. Because now I'm going to tell you guys exactly what the setup is and what the play is. Today is Wednesday. The market is about to go up. It's Thursday. The market is about to go up very hard. Come Friday, prior to information being disclosed, the market will sell off again. And then once it sell off, cool down on Friday, it will pull back and let you know ahead of time. And then Monday, we'll start to open back up on next week. So in the meantime, between times, a lot of money to be made, basically, to put it all in this year on Wednesday today and Thursday tomorrow. Friday, you better back off. I'm putting it out there. I hope you guys understand it because a lot of people that y'all follow make stuff so complex and not simplified at all. I like to keep things simple where people could follow easily. So you already know, guys, like I say, I love y'all. Edge your boy on Instagram at the B. Hayes Show. It's getting wild out here already, and we 